Hello, everybody. I'm here today with Dan Horgan, who is the UK Sales Director for YCD Multimedia. Dan, hello. Hello, Adrian. We're going to talk about Dan's presentation at the upcoming London LED Summit. Uh, Dan has uh, kindly agreed to uh, sort of end, end the morning session. The, the event takes place on Tuesday, May the 19th at Samsung's King's Cross Experience Centre. It's an in-person event. We actually have an audience. Uh, and we will be live streaming the event, which we've only just announced, and we'll be giving details of the of the URL to find that uh, coming up soon. But we're here today just to talk very quickly to Dan about his presentation, which I, I believe, Dan, it's called Reimagining Retail. That's correct. Yes, it is. Yeah. Looking forward Good. to it. Now, I'm sure many people are familiar with YCD, one of the most um, vintage brands. That's probably not the right word to say, but they've been <laughs> around veterans. They've been around for a long, long time uh, with both Scenario and, and YCD Multimedia. Um, Dan joined them a couple of years ago, but has been working with them, I think, on and off for probably about 10 years in various guises, Dan? Yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, um, it's starting to be YCD and part of the growth, really, for uh, for Europe. Well, that's good. Now, there's nobody better place to talk about retail, I think. You, you guys have been doing stuff with Microsoft, T-Mobile, and indeed with Amazon's uh, new experience stores. What what are you gonna what are you gonna what are you gonna tell the audience at the LED summit about uh, retail? Yeah, so I think we're gonna you know, cover four or five probably subjects. Um, I think we have to talk about the recent evolution of the retail store, and that's kind of you know pre and post COVID. So we'll, we'll talk okay. a little bit about that. Yeah, so that, that'll be topical. Yeah, so be topical, and then we'll cover part of that. We'll cover disruption and change. So what's really going on and how um, and why we're reinventing to attract and engage with customers, how they're, how they're doing that, and why retailers are adopting and, and, and adapting to thrive as well. Um, there's okay. a real push right now in the conversations that I'm having with retailing clients about right. adapting to thrive. One of, the, one of the most interesting things, I think we've covered this in New York at a conference as well, was the interesting thing between uh, the... Microsoft Experience Store in New York, the one on Fifth Avenue. If you look at that, I think that was probably built five or six years ago, maybe. Yeah. That was predominantly LCD. And then when you look at the Microsoft Experience Store in London, on the corner of Oxford Street and Regent Street, which was opened in 2000, July 2019, I, I remember going to, the, I think that was the day, I remember going to the opening. That was amazing because there was LED everywhere, LED on the pillars, in the windows. I mean, it was just a complete LED store. Is that something you've seen elsewhere, this this move from LCD to LED inside retail? Yeah, a big shift, you know, a big shift, certainly over the last couple of years uh, in terms of, I mean, there's obviously drivers there around, you know, the, the price comparisons, but also I think there's a big shift about clients and retailers thinking about exper experiences within the store and experiential, um, you know, immersive uh um, experiences within the store as well which is which is key and topical right now right and of course the led is now of a decent enough quality at, a, at the right price point for people to use it everywhere i'm, I'm assuming yes exactly yeah and, and and also you know the software and the cms's that are driving this the capabilities to actually um do you know excellent content with kind of pixel mapping and synchronization all all of those elements that sometimes retailers are a little bit concerned about whether that's going to happen. So like you mentioned the Microsoft store, as you said, that's, you know, it's floor to ceiling in terms of LED, but they want a consistent message around the whole store and a consistent content stream and being able to change that content, but also to be in sync synced uh, along that journey. Right. And a store like Microsoft's one in London, how many PCs would that typically, uh, how many, yeah, how many PCs would push that content out? I know you can, have lots yeah. of outputs on the devices, but yeah, I think we've got like um, two or three that put, really that taking that. Yeah, the software, the software's taken a lot of the let's say the grunt of it, you know, a lot of the beef of, of what's going on there. Um, so yeah, it's just two or three, um, two or three uh, PCs that are running that. Right now, I know. So you're you're very big in retail. YCD are big in retail. There's there's lots of brands that we know of that possibly use you. You're not allowed to promote them, but you'll you'll be able to talk about the Microsoft and the Amazon and the T-Mobile experiences during your presentation yeah that's correct yes yeah okay and what would you how would you summarize how, how are you going to leave the conference because you're, you're you're not summing up the day but you're the last presenter before uh before lunch <laughs> yeah. sorry about that um how are you going to leave the audience yeah i think excited so. i hope hopefully excited but yeah i mean obviously <laughs> we all want to be an engaging exciting experience but um i think it's a bit a bit, a bit of a 
reconfirmation about the importance of visual experiences within the physical store. So I think you know, we're all challenging ourselves about, you know, are even physical stores required? You know, are they needed? There's been so much right. online activity. So I think it's a, a maybe a reconfirmation of, yeah, physical stores are, are required. We're still, okay. in, in terms of our shopping habits, we're still predominantly buying so much, I think it's like 70 to 80% is still bought in the store. Right. Where our minds might take us to, to the other. So I think that's once one thing that's going to be uh, a takeaway, let's say, that physical okay. stores are required. And then about how to link online and the physical experience. So how, that, how, how the retailers and brands are bringing those together. So that's another a key element. Right. And then um, really showing off some of these you know, experiential examples. I think that's another a good time. Okay, so you've got lots of um, examples to show to show the audience. Yes, yeah. Cool. yeah. It's an interesting one, isn't it? When you think people ask about whether retail stores are needed, when Amazon is spending you know, quite a bit of time doing their own physical retail stores. We've, we've seen a store in the last month in London open. Um, one of their new grocery changes opened here. Um, have you had any involvement in those sorts of stores or is, is it just experience stores that you've done with Amazon? Currently just the experience stores. Yeah. But we have, we have a good dialogue with Amazon. So um, yeah, we, 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 we will hopefully be in conversation with them about some more of the frictionless stores that they're working on across the UK. Brilliant. Okay. Well, Dan, I think it's going to be a really exciting um, presentation. Uh, so thanks for doing that. And we'll see you on what did I say? May the 18th, Tuesday morning. Uh, we will be streaming it live as we're pretty much sold out of tickets now. I think there's maybe two or three tickets left. Uh, so we'll be streaming it live and you'll be able to see Dan Tuesday, May the 19th, um, sometime in the morning. So thank you, Dan. Thank you.